Hello, and uh, welcome to another Monkeys Motors Monday morning vlog. So, what have I been up to this week? Fuck all, done nothing, absolutely nothing, which is nice, nice quiet week again. But that gives us the dilemma of what to talk about. So, we're going to go for one of our subscriber suggestions, and it's win win really. It's a win for me because I get something to talk about despite having a boring life. Um, and it's a win for you because you get a little shout out. Oh, look at that weird helmet. It's one of those bell whatevers where they have like the domed clear visor. It's fucking weird, isn't it? Anyway, what are we talking about? So, a garden shed vlogs. Thank you very much for the question. Um, link to his channel in the description below. He's uh, been vlogging for looks like about six months. Recently got his big bike, AR6F, a fellow Brit. But anyway, he's asked for me to talk about commuting, kind of what gear I use, etc. So, why do I commute by bike? Because it's fucking brilliant. It really is. It's, you know, I actually look forward to a Monday morning. Sure, I've got to go to work, but I know I get to jump on my bike. And I'm just going to have a fun 10 minute ride to work. It's just, it's the highlight of the day. I love riding home, love riding to work. It's just great fun. Obviously, when it's pissing it down, it's a bit shit. But even in weather like this, I'd rather be on the bike than in a car. It's just, you know, if you ride, you understand. It's just good old fun. Anyway, I wanted me to talk about what kind of gear I use to kind of make the experience a bit more enjoyable, a bit more bearable, should we say. So, um, first thing I'm going to admit, I can't really remember the names of anything I'm wearing right now. But luckily, it is all in the description down below. Um, you know, all my gear's down there. Camera gear, leathers, and then all the textiles. So obviously, I am head to toe in the textile gear today. Um, obviously, the boots being worn with summer and winter because they're just waterproof boots. But yeah, that's what I recommend. Get textiles, get good textiles for the winter. Because um, if you're commuting all year round, it does get properly cold. Um, and these textiles I've got on now, these Spiddies, H2 out, whatever they're called, they are good, they do keep me warm. Um, for a good, you know, half hour, hour commute, I am happy in these textiles. The thing I have to say though is, I could not live without heated grips. Heated grips are a godsend. Um, I've had them on both my bikes, and I have them on most of the, I've got them on now, you know, it's not exactly freezing, but just having warm fingers allows you to operate the controls on the motorbike so much more safely you know when you've got cold hands you can't really you don't have the same control over your fingers and you can't operate the you know throttle clutch and brake as cleanly and as safely and quickly um, when you've got cold hands it reduces your reaction time so heater grips are a godsend but I have to say heater grips only go so far don't fucking thank you you know for a half hour hour ride heater grips will get you there and back even if it's pretty cold but after that the backs of your hands start to freeze. Um, so I've never tried it, but for longer commutes, you're gonna have to go for heated gear. I've got a coworker who uses heated, she's got a heated jacket actually. Um, and that pretty much keeps everything warm where it's keeping your core warm. I guess, um, you know, even helps keep her hands and legs warm. So, you know, if you're going proper long haul, I would go for the heated gear. I probably, I wouldn't want to faff about plugging myself in. I'll probably get the ones that have battery packs that you just charge every night rather than be wired to the bike. But as I say, I don't actually have any personal experience. But weirdly enough, I'd say, you know, my main piece of gear I have for commuting that I cannot live without ever is the camera. Um, and not just because I like talking to myself and sharing it with strangers on the internet, but it's just that security blanket um, for if someone, you know, if something goes wrong, I've got it on camera. Sure, you know, it might be my fault, and then, then I'll just put it on the internet, we can all laugh how stupid I am, but in the case that it's someone else's fault, it's just nice to have the footage to prove that it was their fault, and not mine. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it, really. Get nice, warm textiles, preferably lots of layers. These have, you know, I can take out the thermal layer, I can take out the waterproof layer, to be fair, I've never done that. If it's warm enough to not need all the layers, then I wear my leathers, but having lots of layers seems to help keep the heat in. 
and um, having the main thing I like about these textiles is the adjustable straps around the armor because that's one thing people worry about with textiles is the lack of protection obviously it's not as good as leather but make sure if you're getting textiles get something that has some way to tighten the armor around your elbows and knees because you know my first crash uh, you know link to the video in the corner I was wearing textiles and um, they were pretty shit I have to say the armor that was around my knee was completely intact you know there was no damage to that piece of armor whereas obviously there was a lot of damage to my knee so that armor was not on my knee during my crash it just moved out of the way so you do need some sort of system to strap that armor down to keep it in place and preferably just don't crash that's my recommendation just don't crash so I think that's about it hopefully something exciting will happen this week and I can get angry and start swearing about it but until then see you later do you ever wonder how bikers deal with runny noses? We don't, it just drips. You see it, it's just running down my face, into my mouth.